Good morning everyone. Today we are outside of Hicksville number five. It's the last day of Ramadan and that means I'm gonna be back on my normal schedule. Coffee, breakfast, lunch, all of that. And I'm in my summer uniform. T-shirt, shorts, sneakers. I mean, how many people get to go to work every day and wear a hoodie and jeans in the winter and a t-shirt and shorts in the summer? I am so blessed. It's a beautiful day and we've got a lot of action today. We're going to revisit the new construction series at Hicksville Number no. 5 and Salisbury. We're going to talk about foundation work and we're going to talk about framing. Let me explain to you guys what's happening over here right now. It might look like a couple Tonka toys just playing in the sand, but this is a very precise process. Before we can even get to excavating a foundation, we have to have the surveyor come in and stake out the entire property and provide us with marking points on all the sides of the foundation to make sure that the excavation and the concrete work are in the exact place where they need to be. If you go any deeper than you currently are or where you need to be, it's going to be a big problem for that footing because the footing needs to be placed on virgin soil. If it's not, then it's not secure and you can't put the weight of the walls and then subsequently the house on top of it. So these guys are going to be digging for the next day and a half. This sand is going to be moved out and repurposed as concrete and this is amazing material. So we're going to have great drainage and this new house that we're going to be putting down is going to be able to have water moving away from the foundation and deep into the soil. We just left Hicksville number five and the commute time from Hicksville number five to Salisbury is about six minutes and I keep getting lucky with this where I'll buy a couple of properties and by the time I get my permits and get the jobs rolling, I'll have two or three projects going but they're very close together and that's why I stick to my 15 minute rule. I get to turn out of Hicksville number five, go down West John, jump on Old Country Road and be at Salisbury in about five minutes and since these jobs are going to be three weeks apart for the duration of the entire build, if the foundation guy is here, the framer will be there. If the framer's there, then the trades, the electric, the plumbing and the mechanicals will be at Salisbury and what that's going to allow me to do is be on top of all these sites at the same time without wasting time on the road. Just a couple of weeks ago at the Ramadan episode, this was nothing but a pile of dirt, some concrete forms, and there was a truck right here blocking this entryway if you remember. And now just a couple weeks later, the foundation's poured, it's waterproof, it's inspected, we got the deck on, and now the first four walls are up. We're gonna put the ceilings up next, get ready for that Advantech subfloor deck for the second floor, and in about two weeks, this entire skeleton will start to take shape, and then we can start worrying about mechanicals, plumbing, etc. When I first started building new construction, we used to backfill before doing any framing. And then I went to the other extreme and I would do the entire deck and then backfill and then start framing. But now, depending on the build and depending on how many breaks and piers you have or things like this rear stoop and that basement entrance bracing the wall, we backfilled halfway this time so it's not as dangerous to work, got the framing going and then once the framing is 100% complete, before the siding and the roofing and the mechanical start, I'll have the excavator come back and do a rough grade of this entire property, level this all out, and where that waterproofing ends, approximately that's gonna be the height of the dirt. We'll get this whole property cleaned up, and that's when we can start our mechanicals, A, and B, start doing tours of this property. And I have a feeling that this one is gonna sell during construction. Salisbury is a very hot area. I wanna thank all of you for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you don't already follow me on Instagram, at Pinnacle Real Estate is my handle. Week to week we do this vlog, but day to day I post updates. Check out those stories. There's a lot of knowledge, there's a lot of information that I put out on a daily basis. Thank you everyone and have a great day.